Where is this airbag module located at? Oh, there it is. So it looks like I need a new cab filter. Yeah, and a little bit more than that. So I've got all the wiring out from the inside of the car. All the wires look good actually. Nothing got cut or anything. So surprisingly through that hole, it, nothing got cut from the accident but everything's looking good getting close to pulling this engine out got most of the wiring disconnected a couple grounds on this side got the PCM out you can see there's a crease right there in the metal but let's see if we can get this engine out today or tomorrow Here's the O2 downstream sensor that got broken off. Okay. The exhaust got pushed against the frame and it just snapped it off. I'm going to weld it back on and reuse it. It looks like pulling the engine in a driveway was a complete fail. It just does not want to fit through the front of the vehicle. So I'll have to take it to the shop and lift the whole cab with the lift and lift the whole engine transmission and transfer case out like that, which will be much easier. I should have just done that to begin with. I was just trying to take shortcuts. Taking shortcuts does not work. <laughs> just do it right the first time. For now, I'm gonna take this with me to work and get this welded. Car is looking good. Everything is taken out of it pretty much on the inside, outside. That's what we got. That was a hard hit. I wonder how fast these people were going and hopefully they're okay. But you can see there's damage all the way over there. There's some damage back here.
So right now the plan is to get this thing loaded onto a trailer and take it to the shop and lift this cab up to get the engine and transmission and transfer case out. That would be the easiest thing. I don't want to disconnect the engine from transmission just to get this engine out. I have no reason to do that because I'm putting everything right back in. So I'm going to lift the cab and then take the engine out. Loading it onto a trailer would be fun because I have no steering wheel. So I'm going to have to see if I can turn this as I'm winching it up on the trailer. All right, let's do it. Got it loaded and strapped down. That was easier than I thought it would be. The winch really helped out. And even though I had to steer with the, that rod right there, it still went pretty good. A little bit too much to the left, but we're only going down two miles down the road. And since I sold my pickup truck, the Ford Raptor, I'm having a tow with this beast. Hopefully I'll make it, but like I said, it's only two miles down the road. We'll be all right. All right, let's go pull this cab and this engine. back on the trailer next stop frame machine <laughs> 